I'm Frederick Forster from Celebrity Chefs and also newly crowned National Chef of the Year 2011. And I'm here today to demonstrate a recipe for all you food lovers out there. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make um, saute scallops with um, tomato and olive dressing and roquette leaves and parmesan. Very simple dish, very quick dish that you can create for parties or you know people coming around, so it should be good. So the first thing I'm going to make is the uh, basic tomato and olive dressing. So you just take your tomatoes, add your olives to that, add your olive oil. And remember, you're making a very light dressing here, so you don't want to you know, put too much oil so it's too oily, but just enough to sort of coat all the other um, ingredients. Touch of lemon juice. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. A little bit of salt. And also some fresh pepper. Mix all that in. Have a little taste of that. What you're looking for with the vinaigrette is to be very much slight bit of acidity, a bit of oiliness, um, but not too acidity or not too oily either. So like a nice balance is what you're looking for. The rocket leaves I'm going to actually sprinkle or sorry, dr drizzle a little bit of olive oil later on, okay, and a bit of um, lemon juice as well. And then also just put my parmesan cheese just running through the rocket leaves later on at the very, very last moment. Next job we're going to do is cook the scallops. Cooking scallops is a, a tricky job, I would say, really. Um, too many people um, tend to overcook their scallops, so you've got to be very careful. Very, very hot pan is required. Seasoning at the last minute, okay? And just cook them on both sides so they're golden brown, okay? And it should be slightly translucent when you take them out of the pan, otherwise they're just too dry, okay? So, very hot pan. Olive oil just goes in. Enough olive oil to cover the base of the pan is what you need. You're not deep frying the scallops here, okay? So just be aware of that. Just enough to cover the surface. Scallops, you've got six halves here. A little bit of um, salt on the surface and on the base, so. And then place them into the pan, one at a time. Very important when you're cooking scallops that you hear that noise because you don't want to boil your scallops, otherwise there's nothing worse than having boiled soft scallops. They should be beautifully roasted, beautifully coloured and very, very crisp on the outside and very soft in the centre. So once they go into the pan, refrain from moving the pan too many times, otherwise you take the heat away from the pan, therefore boiling your scallops. So I'll leave that alone for a while to cook nicely. So basically you need about a minute on each side to cook the scallops sufficiently all the way through. Obviously again, you know, the timing depends on the size of the scallops that you have. So you obviously have to treat them accordingly. If they're a little bit smaller, obviously a little bit less, and bigger, obviously a little bit more. So because these scallops are pretty thick in the center, I'm now gonna put them in the oven for like 45 seconds just to cook them all the way through, okay? The oven basically is quite high, it's 180 degrees, about gas mark seven to eight. Okay, while the scallops are actually in the oven, I'm just gonna finish up the um, salad now. Just place a little bit of the uh, parmesan shavings into the rocket leaf. A little drizzle of olive oil. A little bit of pepper, but not too much. Touch of salt. And a few drops of lemon juice. Just mix that around. And this dish will make really a great sort of summer starter. Um, it's really a dish in itself, doesn't really need much else with it. That's fine. So you have your salad ready, your vinegar is ready to go. So all you're waiting for now, after your scallops to come out of the oven, and then we're gonna dress them there. Okay, scallops are now cooked. Okay, I'll take them out of the pan and place them to a, a drainage plate, like so. And now I'm ready to actually finish the actual dish itself. So I'll take my uh, pan-fried scallops and I'll place them around the outside of my presentation plate. Look how beautiful and golden brown these scallops are. Then you take your dressing and you just spoon that basically over each scallop. Finally, just take your um, dress rocket leaves and that will go in the center of the plate. Presentation is very, very important so just try and get nice height on your rocket leaves here. People eat with their eyes so you've got to impress them. Make sure your plate's nice and clean. 
And that's how to do rose sculpts with tomato and olive dressing, rocket and parmesan.